Kurele and you're watching Inactus India show only on Beyond. Inactus is a global non-profit organization working towards the upliftment of underprivileged and it is through this show that we are trying to create awareness that even the smallest of efforts made can bring up positive change in the society. But before we take you through the Inactus projects, it is imperative for you to understand the in-depth meaning of Inactus. Inactus is an international non-profitable organization which is trying to achieve the 17 sustainable development goals laid out by the United Nations. Through entrepreneurial action, students with the help of business leaders are able to transform the lives of those in need. Entrepreneurial action has inspired more than 70,000 students more than 500 projects in 36 countries, 5 million volunteer hours, and more than 2 million people. Inactus provides university students a platform to build community development projects, helping people improve their skills and earn a livelihood. Inactus not only transforms the lives of people it serves, but it also transforms the lives of students involved as they become better leaders. Inactus India works as a subsidiary of Inactus Worldwide and is active in more than 161 prestigious colleges. Inactus India has more than 20 corporate partners, both national and international. I think our main objective globally is to uh, instill the quality of entrepreneur, entrepreneurial thinking more than entrepreneurship. Uh, because it is this entrepreneurial thinking that is kind of lacking in our formal education today. Um, fortunately, we, uh, in, in including India, where we emphasize more on the student remembering certain numbers or uh, formulas and so on. It's not the real innovative thinking that gets uh, is, that comes out. And I think. That's uh, an area where an actress uh, wants to intentionally give students, uh, number one, we want to give them a chance to work as a team and understand team dynamics because that's what they need when they come to the real life. Number two, we want them to understand how to actually go and execute projects because it's easy to make a million or a billion dollars on paper or in an Excel sheet. When you actually have to go and build an enterprise, that's when the challenge of execution comes in. Um, so I think that's the second part. And the third most important thing is, we want them to think outside the box. You know, we all have problems. We all see water, sanitation, roads, uh, women empowerment issues all around us almost every day. But we don't do anything about it. Some of us just tweet, some of us just write it on social media and vent it out. But that's not going to help, you know. I think the real problem is we have to do something. And that's what Enactus empowers these students to go and do something about those transgenders who are begging on the street or the women who are living in slums, who have no skills. We want them to think outside the box. We have around uh, 161 colleges, active colleges, who do an Enactus project and around 4,038 students actively participated in Enactus projects. These projects are basically supported by faculty, advisors, means academics. Also, we get a support from corporates. So these projects are basically for the development of community. Students from Enactus teams, they go and reach these community people and they do provide them all the necessary uh, things which is required for a sustainable project and to be a entrepreneur, self-driven entrepreneur, basically. If your actions inspire others to do more, dream more, learn more and become more, then you are a leader and that's what Enactus aims to do. And the work of the organization was recognized by House of Professionals as they partner with the Enactus India for their 2017 edition of Break the Ceiling, Touch the Sky Summit. See this report. Women, especially from rural India, have to struggle a lot as they are not allowed to travel outside their villages for work purposes. Inactus India provides home-based employment opportunities to such women. Most of the projects under Inactus India are focused on women and benefit them directly. This work of Inactus India was recognized by House of Rose Professionals as they partnered with Inactus India for their Break the Ceiling, Touch the Sky Summit. 
Enactus, which plays a pivotal role in empowering underprivileged women, was one of the network partners of the event. Mahindra has been associated with Enactus since 2014. The program truly embodies our RISE philosophy. The partnership is a total win-win because not only does it help corporate get involved in social projects, but also it helps in student development. Business leaders from different industries came together to be a part of this event. And we caught up with some of the members of Enactus India. This is what they had to say. I think Enactus has been doing some wonderful work and Walmart has been associated with Enactus for a while. We've been supporting Enactus in 25 countries uh, and the grant has been extremely useful for even the colleges in India. There are 160 colleges. Uh, 20 of them are really focusing on the Women's Economic Empowerment Project and which has the potential to impact about 50,000 women in the country. So it's fantastic. I think the message to the students is primarily about entrepreneurship. I think the ecosystem which is currently there, created by the current government for entrepreneurship, is one of the best that I have seen in my three decades, over three decades of my career. And I think it's an opportunity for the students to really participate in the competition which Enactus promotes and show their skills. Walmart has given a lot of grants to uh, grants to a lot of colleges. Which is your favorite team? Because we'll be having national competition in next month. I think it is important to be really fair and all my teams are favorite. All of them stand a very good chance of being the winner. So I wouldn't name any single one of them. They are all very, very good. Okay, thank you for talking to us. The 2017 India edition of Break the Ceiling, Touch the Sky featured a great set of panel discussions and keynote addresses focused on equipping women in leadership with practical tips and best practices for success. The Success and Leadership Summit of Women was held on May 11, 2017 at the Grand Hyatt in Mumbai. The summit enables women professionals to learn, network and achieve. It's time for a short break but you don't go anywhere because we have loads more coming up for you. HR College of Commerce travelled to rural areas of Maharashtra and saw that water related problems acted as hindrance to the well-being of people there and that's why the students started a project called Jalvridhi which aims to make water more accessible and economically feasible to rural India. HR College of Commerce has been associated with Enactus India from the very beginning. It started its first project in 2008 and since then has done and is continuing to do many projects that focus on the 17 Sustainable Development Goals laid out by the United Nations, impacting several lives. The students of uh, HR College have uh, uh, taken an active part in the various uh, projects starting from uh, Ch uh, Project Chirag, where uh, they have uh, changed the life of uh, so many over 1000 uh, households. Uh, after giving the solar la uh, lamps to them, uh, they have uh, provided an opportunity for the village students uh, to study and uh, make their career, which otherwise uh, they used to stop their uh, education uh, because, the lights, because of the lack of uh, electricity and other infrastructure. And after that pilot, uh, the first project, uh, Project Chirag, they have uh, come up with different projects, the last one being a uh, water wheel a project where they have changed the life of village women, uh, uh, where they provide uh, opportunities or options for them to collect water for over four or five days and uh, remove the hardships for them. Many districts in Maharashtra face the problem of drought. Not only this, people do not even have immediate access to clean drinking water. Due to lack of water bodies and proper management, almost 56% of the region faces water-related problems causing a hindrance to their well-being. Where we are situated, it's, 
it's a place which has a very good rainfall. We've got like incessant rain all through four months and a good uh, amount of uh, water available in those four months. But then the problem arises the moment October comes, the heat comes, the water dries up and then people are like worried about where, where will they, how will they run their rest of the months. So eventually the solution is that we have better watershed management, water harvesting and so on. But now that we are approaching the summer, it's, yeah. it's, it's important that we support the families around with, with a good water mobility. They have uh, you know, open wells that serve them. In order to find a solution to these problems, Enactus HR College started Project Jal Vritti. They started planning the project in February 2016, but it took them two months to implement it. Before starting the project, the students of Enactus HR College conducted a research in 20 villages of Maharashtra to identify the water crisis problem. As members of Enactus, our main aim was to empower people and we realized that in India, to really go, get to the path of progress, we needed to empower rural citizens as well as urban citizens, which is why we decided to go rural with this project. So we went to rural areas, we went to the uh, district of Vada in uh, Palgar district, the block of Vada in Palgar district in Maharashtra, and we conducted a research survey where we extensively tried to note down the problems in the area through primary research. We'd interview a lot of uh, villagers in different villages across Maharashtra, and we asked them what problems that they faced. One universal problem that we noticed across different villages in Maharashtra was the problem of water and accessibility to water. The students of Enactus HR College started Project Jal Vridhi with the aim of making water solutions more accessible and economical in rural India. Jal Vridhi, with the help of Impact India Foundation and Parivartan Mahila Sanstha was first implemented in a small village called Vada located 150 kilometers from Mumbai. Jalvridi has so far covered more than 60 villages. So the entire objective that we had in mind with Project Jalvridi was to come up with something which is a simple solution and it's economic and it solves uh, in a sustainable manner the water, uh, water problems that rural India faces. A lot of women would have to walk, especially women or young children in the household, would have to walk long distances to collect water, which is a basic necessity. So they'd carry as close to 20 to 30 kgs on their head in the form of matkas and we call that head loading and they would carry that kind of water, walk in this summer heat or really hot weather and they'd walk uh, long distances just to collect this water daily. So a lot of young children were made to drop out of school as well to collect water and we realised that this is something that we need to change because in a city you have water coming out of your taps and it's accessible and we tried, we wanted to bring that kind of a comfort into the lives of villagers. This is a student at HR College, he came here for one year before us. और हमारे गांव में पानी का बहुत सारा मुश्किल है मई महीने और अप्रैल मई महीने बहुत तकलीफ होती है जो औरत लोगों को पानी लाने के लिए तो ये बच्चे लोग ने सब वाटर व्हील लेके आए और वो वाटर व्हील हम लोग ने चार पांच घरों में दिया फिर उनको फायदा हुआ क्या बाबा जो औरत लोगों को तकलीफ होती है वो कम होने लगी और और भी उनको वाटर व्हील मांगा रहे हैं और हम लोग सब गांव में वो डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर रहे हैं और उनकी जो जरूरत है गांव वालों की हम लोग पूरे कर रहे हैं ये सब लर्निंग सेस कर रहे हैं Most women in the village face spine problems because of carrying heavy water pitchers on their shoulders and head. They also spend five to six hours every day in going to the nearby river and collecting water. This does not allow them to engage in other activities. Through Jalvridhi, the students introduce the villagers to water wheels, solving the problem of water transportation. Water wheels is a 45 liter rolling drum. It is time efficient, easy to use and keeps the water cold and clean for several days. The problem is that, you know, women and girls both uh, spend so much time every day pulling out the water from wells, carrying it to their homes. So, it's like so much of waste of human hours, yeah, working hours. And if we are able to provide them with the right resources, then that time is utilized in productive activity, whether it's in the household or outside. There are lots of girls uh, giving exams at this moment, but they would end up spending hours of their time drawing up uh, water from well and carrying it home. So 
so i think it's a right moment that we come into the situation provide with these water wheels to all the families that require it in these in these areas and then post monsoon we have to look at how we are going to uh, set up long lasting system you know of, of water sheds and water harvesting and so on we had our entire research phase and we realized that one main problem that these areas faced was water transportation they were not able to transport their water in an effective manner and they landed up wasting a lot of time so we had research which showed that 80% of their time went in water collection activities and it caused a lot of back and spine ache because they were carrying matkas all the time so we came across this uh, product it's called the water wheel and uh, it basically transports 45 liters of water at once so a lot of it transports three times the amount of water that the women were able to carry earlier in a single go so what we do is we try to distribute these uh, water wheels to rural areas we started off with uh, maharashtra since that's bombay's were were based so we're functioning in the areas of wada kasara and uh, basically in bal palkar district So what we how project generally typically works is we tie up with local NGOs and we do an entire needs assessment for areas and families that require the water wheel. So why we decided to implement a sort of simple technology in their life which is easy to use for them and also saves their time and reduces their burden and stress the water collection. So we started looking at different ways to make water accessibility easier for them and when we started researching into this we thought of the water wheel was the product that we came up with. because it's simple to use it's easy to use instead of carrying the water on the head the villagers have to now push the wheel which makes it much simpler and they collect their water in one go so that saves their time and also helps them to um, devote more time to other activities and household chores as a result younger children can also devote more time to their school work and they don't have to drop out of school as well as women because women have more time to devote to other activities now that their water collection which would otherwise take up a lot of time at part of the day it, it's significantly reduced so they get to do other activities and actually contribute to their household income as well when the students provide the villagers with water wheels they also give them tablets to purify the water one tablet purifies 15 liters of water the villagers are made to pay only 500 rupees for the water wheels which is just 20% of the market price the students are able to provide the wheels at a subsidized price because of the cross subsidy model for this model the students have targeted a different set of women from another village in wada and they are taught the art of making canvas bags they aim to make these women successful entrepreneurs and to impact as many lives as they can so uh, the whole concept of the project jalvridhi is to bring water solutions to uh, rural areas okay so we the manufacturer of this product is bello who the uh, retail has giving the order 2500 rupees to make it affordable for the rural livelihoods we uh, we have a cross subsidization model wherein uh, we have another community where in uh, for canvas stitch bag uh, tote bags the the pro the profits of the canvas tote bags is used to cross subsidize the uh, profit for the water wheel uh to make it more simple uh, we bring the cost of the water wheel from 2500 rupees to 500 rupees to make it affordable the rural livelihoods the rest of the margin is actually covered uh, through the profit of the canvas tote bag and the canvas tote bag orders basically we get big corporate as well as retail orders who uh, purchase these uh, uh canvas bags as per as per the company policy to make their uh, members engage something like that the orders that the students receive for the bags are mostly from big companies they pay around 70 to 80 rupees per bag the profit that is generated from the sale of these bags helps it in subsidizing the water wheels by 75% along with this the women engaged in making bags get a fixed monthly income through project jalvridhi in only about a year we've taken it to about 65 hamlets around wada kasara ganesh puri etc and we have impacted directly about 1500 lives and not only have we distributed wheels to anganwadis and households but also through our bags we've generated a revenue of about 6 lakh 76000 rupees in a year with major orders from corporates such as johnson and johnson yorika forbes limited along with collaborations with websites like the soul store we make a change to inspire we are dedicated to contribute we act to empower we innovate to take action we contribute to make a change we inspire to innovate we are the natives of our college and we believe in a shared future 
Enactus not only empowers underprivileged, but it also aims to create and foster entrepreneurial spirit in these students. So let's find out from these students as what they have learned from the organization, and then we'll meet faculty advisors of the Enactus project. I think the main uh, takeaway and one of the biggest giveaways of Enactus would be after working at Enactus and being in so many rural areas and visiting a lot of underprivileged people, we get sensitized to their problems. We understand how different they are from us and how it's just, uh, just you know, by pure luck that we uh, happen to have all the so-called privileges and facilities which we have today, which a lot of other people are devoid of. So it teaches us to value a lot of. It teaches us to value everything which we have because most often we don't appreciate it. It's just given to us by it's just given to us by virtue of birth, and so we take it for granted. However, in Actus, it teaches you, you know, that it's it's we are so privileged and we are so fortunate that we've actually got what we've got. So it's it's a very good sensitizing experience as a whole in Actus. Along with that, one of one of another huge takeaway of Enactus would be how Enactus helps helps us as, as students to apply a lot of what we've learned in college, a lot uh, a lot of the fundamental concepts which we've learned in college to apply in our practical lives, in our day-to-day -day lives, in terms of business model formulations, marketing strategies, expansion strategies, which otherwise which we we'll just learn in our textbooks. But now, you know, with the help of Enactus and with uh, with our projects running, we can apply all of these things into our projects. And so it's a very good practical learning experience for us which helps us to grow professionally as well as a, as a person. So there are two ways in which Enactus helps me and many other women like me. One is it gives us a platform to interact with business leaders across various companies and that gives us not only a boost of confidence but also an opportunity to know what we can do and to make our mark when we enter the corporate world. And secondly, it gives us an opportunity to interact with women who don't have the opportunities that we have had but have the zeal and the passion to become leaders probably better than we can and it helps us encourage them to become better business leaders for tomorrow. So in this way, Enactus empowers not only me but many women like me and many more women from marginalized communities today. The most important thing is that these students, they join in the first year and uh, they continue being a part of Enactus till the third year. And uh, throughout, uh, throughout these uh, three years of the journey at, uh, at, with Enactus, they learn so much that they contribute to the class also better. Like uh, you can e easily make out the difference between Enactus students and other students inside the classroom itself. Apart from this, uh, academically whatever they are learning in class gives them a qualifying criteria for placements. But uh, when they are in the interview, and lots of students have told me this, that uh, when they are talking to the person who is interviewing them, a lot of the conversation happens about what they have done at Enactus. So this I think gives them a lot of confidence because they have actually done all those things in field activities and that gives them a lot of confidence to talk about it in, uh, in front of people. Uh, I think it is very important for uh, educational institutions to connect with uh, institutions like Enactus uh, because it helps in the holistic development of the children and the students. Uh, they learn to give back to the society and uh, especially students from the urban areas who are privileged will know the uh, challenges with the students uh, or the people in the rural areas face. That's all we have on today's episode. I hope the work of these students have inspired you to do something for the society. Also, if you want to write any feedback or suggestion, you can write to us on india at the rate in actors.org.